Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I have separated the astrology and tarot films, so if you just want your astrology, boom boom, nip over to my YouTube channel and there are your weekly pure astrology readings. This is for those people that love the weekly tarot and I'm going to put them in separate videos for you. Welcome to your weekly tarot. <laughs> Gemini, let's look at your weekly astrology. Use this symbolically or by synchronicity. It might be relevant to you. Let's see what the tower have to say for the week of the 27th for Gemini. You might feel as if there's some restriction around you this week, which you don't like, because you are a free spirit. And in fact, there might be an ending and a, lot, and a lot of emotional changes around you, but you are going through a rebirth. And uh, perhaps you were a bit obstinate, obstinate or pig-headed with someone. Uh, maybe you needed to be. Maybe you need to be stubborn and go, right, I'm closing that down, because you've certainly gone through some changes and endings, and it looks like you were feeling a bit betrayed and now you're like right I've got to focus on me I've got to build things back up I've got to focus on my career if there's a negative destructive relationship around you be careful it's not and actually that doesn't necessarily just mean um, a sexual relationship although in this case it could be you know this is addictions this is relationships that are unhealthy you know the ones I mean and there is someone there maybe tempting you or kind of yeah, tempting you with their wares, you know, or offering you something that seems too good to be true. Um, focus on what you need to do. For instance, if don't if a boss is trying to flirt with you um, or somebody in a position of power is trying to get you to do them a favour to get what they want, you know, don't do that. You don't need to. You're a strong and empowered being in your own right. And you're very protective. There could be a slew of opportunity around money this week, but it means making changes. It means seeing things differently. It means allowing the inspiration in in a new way. It means stepping forward out of your comfort zone, stepping away from negative patterns, negative addictions, negative people, you know, even if you're deeply attracted to them, if it's not good for you, step into the star, step into your inspiration you're working hard to achieve what you want, but you have to take one step into adventure to get there, which you can do. You're probably still reeling from some emotional situation that happened that hurt you, but you're going through an emotional rebirth. You're ready for the inspiration, the healing, the creativity to kick in. You're ready to build up your own security and future. And do you know what? That's looking good. I would focus on work today as well uh, and don't dwell on whatever whoever that was. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm gonna to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. Hi, I'm Seven, a spiritual medium psychic. When I'm communicating messages from, from spirit to you, I'm also looking at the, the evolution of where you're going in, in your life, in your journey. I'm answering questions, but then also looking at the wider reasoning around what's happening as well. What I always do is give the truth because I'm giving the information that's coming through for me and so sometimes that comes across to some people that could be quite harsh or they want me to change information. That's not what this is about. This is about what's coming through from spirit. But ultimately a reading with me is there to help. Most of the time I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself as in Seven giving that. It's actually coming from spirit. This work is incredible it's joyful it means so much that i'm able to give that gift to somebody that ultimately is going to better their their life